All right, guys, welcome. So if you're following our daily vlog, you know that we just finished up our shower pan. I showed you exactly how to do that. If you haven't seen it, make sure you check out one of these videos right there uh, to see the process on, on, on that. But what I'm going to show you today is basically how to install your tub, how to hook it up to your plumbing. We have to relocate our plumbing. Most of the times you don't. Um, and then how to fasten it and all that stuff. It's pretty easy. There's a couple things you just need to know. That's it. Tomorrow we're going to be finishing up our shower system. And then because that shower system is going to wrap around all of this and then over the flange. And that's why the tub has to go in first. I'm going to show you every single step of the way how to do this bathroom. But let's make a deal. If you learn something or get some value out of this video, hit the subscribe button. It's really not that hard. Uh, and if you don't, leave the nastiest comment that you can, and you can get personal. You can get pretty personal if you want. Like, I'll be okay with that. I feel like that's the right offset. Let's get into the video. Okay, right, so I'm gonna show you something that is probably gonna get a razz out of some people down in the comments. So go check those out, have fun with that. But, so our tub is in and it's just standing on its own legs and it's pretty solid in there, okay? But check this out. So if I put my level on here, it's close. I mean, I, I'm, we're literally right here. We're talking like, look, so to get level, I gotta get up maybe 16th of an inch to actually get between my, my hashes on this side. If we go over to this side, you know, we're talking same thing right there. Maybe 16th of an inch, eighth of an inch max across the whole thing. And then on this side, we're level. So you could try to finagle that, but I would rather have my tub eighth of an inch at a level because it, look so if you actually put the level on the ground the water will flow right to the drain so that's not the problem i would rather have my tub have the best contact that it could with the floor and there's no deflection there's no squeaking nothing versus having a little bit of a uneven unevenness around so i'm literally just going to leave the tub just like it is you won't visually ever see that you know being at a level I'm literally going to leave it just like this and start hanging the tub itself. I don't know. Have fun in the comments with that one. But to me, this makes the most sense. Let me know if it makes sense or not. I don't know. All right. So now that I'm dry fitting my tub, I see where I'm missing my blocking. I'm going to put a piece of blocking right here so I can fasten this flange to it. I'm going to also put a piece of blocking right here so I can fasten this flange. And now that I know exactly where my drain is going to go, I can then mark these two locations to add my uh, studs. You guys probably don't have this issue to worry about, but for me, let me get these blocking in first and then I'll set the tub. Bang, movie magic, that is done. So I have one of these countersink bits. Basically it's a bit that makes a uh, kind of divot like this. You see that? This way like the cap of the screw doesn't stick out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around and then pre-drill each one of the locations I want my screw to go because I don't want that screw head to stick out. So uh, kind of like this, check it out. Make sure you're not going too far though, right? Just like that. So then I'm just gonna go around and do every single one of them. All right, come over here, let me show you. So now I'm going to use stainless steel screws like this. Uh, they kind of have this flat cap to then screw this in. Um, I am picking this side to actually go flat up against it. Just like so, don't go crazy. I mean, we're not, you know, what are we trying to do here? Um, this side does have a bit of a gap and that's designed like this for a reason to get the tub in there and not like squeeze the tub in there but i'll show you in a minute how to deal with that and not actually crack your flange but let me screw screw off this all right so now we have these kind of gaps right here and if i was to just put a screw right through this this would crack that flange in a split second so we can't do that 
Also, if any of this stuff looks not what your stuff looks like, make sure that you go into the Facebook group down below and just asking that question. Be like, hey, bro, like this is not what mine looks like. How can I do, do this? Uh, that's why we have the help... Like the Winnie Help Facebook group is meant just for that, for you guys to actually like ask questions. Um, all right, so I'm gonna slide this shim right in here. Not enough. So we're gonna have to get two shims. We'll kind of do one of these tricks. If you go, this goes upside down and this guy goes like this. Skadoosh, shim, like that. Now I'm gonna put a screw. All right, so this gap right here is kind of awkward. There's no way you're going to overlap this flange. You could get shims and shim out this, but I don't really do that. I'll show you tomorrow how I deal with this flange. So make sure that you're subscribing so you can get the notification tomorrow on how to deal with this. All right, we're almost done. This is so easy. I'm telling you, you guys can do this at home. You can do this. All right, so we got ourselves one of these uh, trip lever style overflow drains. So. This is the top, um, and then it kind of goes like this, and then like this. But it's got all these rings to basically hold them in place. So let me set it up. All right, so we got our piece right here. The rubber ring goes on the bottom. Um, and then I have my top, top drain piece and I have a fat bead of silicone all, all around that as well. Um, when you're dealing with fiberglass tubs, it's not recommended to be using plumber putty. It's recommended to be using uh, your silicone. So I'm going to kind of, oh, I'm going to reach over and then try to connect these two from the top like this. So this is loose right now. This is not 100% tightened up. So I should have some flexibility there. All right, so what's helpful actually right here is to get a big key like this and that can kind of go around right there and you want to be cautious that you don't actually break that so just give it nice tension uh, as much as you can without actually like stressing it out and you can put a screwdriver right through here and then just gently tighten this so once you put this piece in here, and if you flip this open and it doesn't stop the water from going, you just have to take it out and then adjust the depth of this kind of down. I know I'm gonna be close to the max here, um, but you will just have to kind of play around with that, kind of bringing it in, bringing it out. But this now just slides right in like this. Goes right into that piece, followed by that. And then like this, so you'll, like that and then these two guys go right here all right so now we can kind of reach back here and just get these nice and hand tight don't go crazy with like you know tools to get them tight the hand tight will get it nice all right and then we have a piece like this that goes slides over the top here now we can start trying to figure out our p-trap and realistically all we have to do is just put our p-trap here and connect it to this pipe over here so it's super straightforward <laughs> Thank you. 